Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about Spoken Digit Recognition with Wavelet Scattering Transform and Deep Learning using MATLAB. In this step by step um, video tutorial, we will explore the process of classifying spoken digit using combination of machine learning and deep learning techniques. The goal is to accurately identify spoken digit samples. In this demonstration, we explore a comprehensive ap approach to spoken digit classification by harnessing the combined power of machine learning and deep learning techniques. This exam example showcases the utiliza utilization of wavelet time scattering transform alongside a support vector on machine and a long short time memory network. This is shortly known as LSTM network for classification purpose. Moreover, Bayesian optimization is employed in this example to fine tune para hyper parameters and enhance uh, accuracy of this long short term memory network. Additionally, this example unveils an alternative approach applying employing a deep convolution neural network in conjunction with MEL frequency spectrograms. Here it is uh, shortly known as MEL frequency separal coefficients, uh, simply called as MFCCS. Here uh, the step by step guide uh, we are going to discuss now. What is the first step is pre processing uh, when you go for spoken digit recognition using wavelet scattering and deep learning uh, method. Here it is an uh, interesting approach uh, that combines signal processing technique with uh, deep learning models to classify the spoken digits. Here general overview of how it can be implemented uh, by using this uh, spoken digit recognition. First step is pre processing. The first step is pre process the sp spoken digit audio samples. This typically involves converting the audio signals into a suitable format for analysis such as extracting the uh, relevant features. The second step is wavelet scattering. Here wavelet scattering is a signal processing technique that provides a stable and informative representation of time series data. It also it involves uh, applying the wavelet transform to the audio signals at multiple scales and extracting relevant features. The, the scattering coefficient captures both low and high frequency information which can be useful for classification tasks. The next third step is feature extraction. Once the wavelet scattering coefficient are computed, additional feature extraction techniques may be applied to further enhance the discriminative power of the input. The next one, common feature extraction method includes uh, statistical measure such as mean, variance, spectral features like mill frequency, substral co coefficients. The fourth step is deep learning model. After feature extraction, a deep learning model is trained to classify the spoken digits. Here normally convolution neural networks are used or recurrent neural networks are commonly used architecture for this speech uh, signal processing task. The extracted features are fed into the deep learning model which learns to classify the spoken digits based on the patterns in the data. The uh, next step is training and evaluation step. Here the deep learning model is trained on a labeled data set of spoken digit audio samples. The data set should be properly split into training, validation and testing set to assess the model performance accurately. During the training process, the model optimizes its weights using backpropagation and uh, gradient descent methods. Normally, is a um, recurrent neural networks you can use uh, during the training of backpropagation and uh, gradient descent methods. Next step is deployment. Once the deep learning model is trained and evaluated, it can be deployed to classify spoken digits in real time applications. And the model takes an input audio sample, applies the pre processing steps, and also passes through it into a deep learning architecture to predict the spoken digits. These are the common steps that are implemented. The next one step by step guide. Uh, for this spoken digit recognition with uh, this example. <clears throat> for example, this, exa this example um, data preparation, uh, data preparation is uh, the data set you can um, uh, download, download it from uh, GitHub for uh, the spoken uh, digit data set is available uh, during the sim simulation time we are uh, discuss about this data, data set. Obtain a data set of spoken digit audio samples, the data set should be labeled with each sample corresponding to a specific digit, split split the data set into training test set and try a testing set data sets. Then wavelet scattering, how we um, uh, apply wavelet time scattering to the audio sample. This involves decomposing the signals into multiple scales using wavelet transforms. Now again we compute the uh, scattering coefficients that capture important temporal and uh, spectral information. The next step is feature extraction, extract the relevant features from the scattering coefficients. This can include statistical methods such as mean variance and spectral efficiency like uh, MFCCs. Uh, this feature serves as input to the classification method. The next one is a support vector machine. 
but this is for using used for train train yeah uh, train and yes svm classifier using extracted features from the scattering coefficients optimize the svm hyperparameters such as kernel type regularization uh, parameters using cross validation here uh, we are using k fold cross validation method is used used in this uh, prediction the next one is a uh, long short term memory lstm network here uh, we can build the lstm network for spoken digit classification uh, if, uh, train the lstm network using extracted feature and not waste the parameters hyper parameters such as um, lstm units learning rate and dropout rate using bayesian optimizations here uh, what is a bayesian, bayesian, bayesian optimizations uh, here uh, used to determine the uh, suitable hyper parameters to improve the accuracy of the uh, lstm network here the next step is evaluation step we are evaluating the performance of svm and lstm models using the testing data set the next one is a deep convolution neural network cnnn or rnn here you can implement deep cnn model for spoken digit recognition and convert audio samples into well frequency spectrograms uh, design and cnn or uh, rnn architecture with convolution polling and uh, fully connected layers and uh, then, then next step is train the cnn model using well frequency spectrograms then model comparison you can compare the performance of svm lstm uh, cnn and rnn models assess their accuracy computational efficiency and robustness to variations in the spoken digit samples finally conclude the summary is the findings insight from the experimentation with wavelet scattering and deep learning techniques techniques for spoken digit recognition here just to reflect on the strength and limitations of each approach and suggest potential areas for improvement here uh, after um, um, simulating the data here uh, the spoken fsdd is nothing but for um, uh, spoken digit recognition data set here it in this data set can uh, consist of 10 balanced classes with 200 recordings each these recordings in the fsd are not equal duration it's a different one here is a histogram of the uh, re recording files here they have labeled as there are uh, 200 recordings are the 10 balance classes are showing here the next one uh, by using wavelet scattering classification to create a wavelet time scattering framework uh, using an invariant scale of 0.2 to seconds in this example you create a uh, feature vectors by averaging the scattering transform overall this samples is uh, you are a predicted class versus true classes the next one the training the training process you can say, uh, check the test accuracy and valid validation accuracy here using value transform to create this one uh, 0.2 to second here uh, the training process uh, uh, diagram is shown here is it shows the uh, accuracy versus loss the next one is another approach for uh, using dcnn that is a deep convolution neural network based on well frequency spectrogram to classify the FSDD example data set here construct a small DCNN and the array of layers use convolution and batch bar normalization layers and also apple for the feature maps using max pooling layers these are uh, again another exam another uh, diagram shows the uh, test accuracy of 96 points 96.833 percent to reduce the possibility of network memorizing uh, specific feature of the training data add a small amount of dropout to the input uh, to the last fully connected layers then after that you can uh, if you perform a Bayesian optimization, the, the following figures will become uh, for objective functional model and minimum objective was versus a number of function variables diagram you can see. Uh, here you can increase the number of Bayesian optimization iterations to ensure that the global minimum of the objective function is reached. Here you can see the number of hidden units and initial learning rate. Also you can see observed points. Uh, point being evaluated and model mean next point and model minimum feasible value and minimum observed, minimum observed objective and estimated um, uh, minimum objective and function evaluations and uh, minimum objective functions are you can see. Now let us see the simulation part. These are uh, live, script, live script of uh, MATLAB file. Here spoken digit uh, recognition with ma wavelet uh, transform. Here this example shows how to classify spoken digits using both ma machine learning and uh, deep learning techniques here you can see the data set here fsdd nothing but free spoke free uh, spoken digit uh, data set it is available in uh, this uh, url you can download it in this url and also you have, you have to paste in um, c folder that is a c directory temporary temporary directory app app data here in this temp directory we have to paste this data set and here 
in this subfolder the recordings files are there 200 files are there 200 2000 recordings files are there uh, to uh, here there are uh, um, 2000 recordings in english of uh, digits zeros through 9 here you can see 0 through 9 obtained from four speakers in this version two of the speakers are native speakers of american english and one speaker is non non native speaker of english with a belgium belgian french accent one speaker is non non native speaker of uh, english with a german accent here this data is sampled at 8000 hertz here by using this audio data restore and um, uh, this is histogram function you can get this uh, histogram histogram diagram of this FSDD files. These are labels. Labels are um, split into 200 uh, files. Here you can see the histogram, and after that we are, we are getting after running this one, we have wavelet scattering classification. You can get test accuracy is 97 percent, and also here we can see the training uh, data, uh, training data set window. You can see you can see, uh, accuracy test accuracy 78 74.833. And also you can get 62 point you know the here more number of iterations you can need for to get the higher accuracy, higher accuracy. here Bayesian optimization method in this Bayesian op optimization method if here uh, you can increase the number of Bayesian optimization iteration to ensure the global minimum of the objective function is reached here okay now uh, you can get this one then uh, uh, computing speech spectrograms process the files 500 of 2400 computing finished can get this deep neural network finally you can see the conclusion of su summary of this one this example shows how to use the different machine and deep learning approaches for classifying spoken digits in the uh, fsdd data sets i hope you enjoy this video um, uh, in this uh, matlab live script file is available in my youtube channel description box kindly use it for uh, education research purpose uh, thanks for watching thank you if you are new new viewer of my channel means kindly subscribe my channel and also uh, give, your well, give your valuable suggestions and comments on my YouTube channel videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.